Hey everyone, I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. I've been teasing you with updates, teasing you with live streams, showing you glimpses, but you don't have to wait anymore. Drag and Drop is here. Alright guys, as the intro said, Drag and Drop is finally here. I've been working on it for months. I mean, on and off. I've had work to deal with. I've had other projects for Home Assistant uh, that took priority. But I really wanted to get this before the end of the year. And today of all days, being the Home Assistant Conference, seemed, seemed right. So I pushed. I worked to get it done today. Is it perfect? No. No, it's not. It's not perfect. Is it the final version? No. And one of the most disappointing things is it's not in core Home Assistant. The way that we're going to be looking at this for now, hopefully until the next release of next year in Home Assistant, it's going to be custom. And it'll give you the same features that I've, be, I've been building out for the core. So first, first, I'm just going to go into how to install it, how to get there. We'll, we're, we'll get there. We'll get to. I'll show you it. I promise. First, let's get. Let's, I'll show you my the GitHub page that the custom view is on. So the uh, the repository is called Custom Grid View. It's under my username. It will be a link in the description below. Click on that link. This is the place where if you have an issue, you can log it here. If you have a feature request, you can log it here. I would rather not have any questions concerning or issue or like bugs. I, questions are fine. Bugs or feature requests. I would rather have those in the GitHub repository than the video itself. So you can see here, the testing ground, is not it's not the final version. And make sure you do subscribe because I will continue updates on the channel of when I do update it and when new features come. And I will continue getting updates to this while I'm in development in both of them just so that you guys can test what we kind of are going to be putting in there. You're going to go to the custom drag and drop grid view. So this, what this is going to link you to is the releases. You're going to come down here. You're going to click on grid view JS. You're going to download that. You're then going to place that within your home assistant configuration folder. It should be a www folder. And if you don't have that, you need to create it. And within that, you can place this grid view dash view uh, JS file. Once you've done that, add the resource to your Lovelace dashboard. So first, this is my configuration folder. Here I have a www folder. And here I can place that, J that JavaScript file, .js file, into this folder. And then we have to create the resource in your Lovelace dashboard. This right here is the YAML to do it manually. There is a way to do it within the UI. Do it within the UI. Go to your configuration page, go down to Lovelace dashboards, click resources, and then click add resource. Here's where you're going to put slash local slash grid dash view dash JS. Now, if you create it or if you place it directly into the www folder, this is where it's going to be. You'll hit create. That'll create this resource. The next thing. I want to talk about or a few of the known issues that I know are a thing right now. And I'm working on getting the fixed. Just taking me some time. You currently cannot have a card. Let's say you have, and I'll show this later. You can't have a card have empty space beside it or below it. Sometimes the placeholder isn't aligned correctly. Some cards do not support resizing. This is a little bit breaking. Drag and drop. And the resizing and everything may not work on mobile. 
to use drag and drop grid. What we have to do, I'm going to go to edit dashboard. Going to go to raw configuration editor. So within a view, you need to add a configuration variable. Well, the configuration, that is the type of view. Type of this view and what I've called it, and you'll see in the repository readme. It's called, and custom is just automatic because it has to be custom. It's called grid dash dnd. G R I D dash dnd. Let's grid drag and drop. But you'll be able to do this. So all you have to add to get this, this to work for your view. Click save. Let's go back. You'll see a few, th a few things change. You'll see here we have save layout up at the top. And also you'll see that there is an icon added to the bottom right of each card. Now if I hover over these cards, you'll see that my cursor changes to a moving icon. And there's also these two buttons on them. We'll get to those. But let's say that I want to move this kitchen to the living room. You can see that the method that it takes to move cards around is, is in a column basing, column based view. It's going to push cards down or up depending on where you place them. So for example, I'm going to move this up. See, it didn't change any of the other cards. Move this to the right or to the left. It didn't change anything. It only moved, shifted the third column up, second column down. Now, to resize, you'll see that if I hover over this right-hand corner, I can see a button. And then if I click, you can see it starts moving. So I can make this as tall and wide as I want. This will allow you to do this. Now, what if you refresh right now? It didn't save it, right? That's what that save layout button is. For now, this is the way that I'm doing it. This may change. Let's say that I want to make this one big. We're going to move the alarm card up here, the top left. Save it. See that it flashes. That's, that's Lovelace saving the configuration and then recreating this view. And you'll see that if this, this stayed the same whenever that refresh happened. So I'm going to refresh the page, and you'll see that the changes are still there. Now, one other caution. If you're using this in your production environment, I would suggest copying a, one of your dashboards and creating a new one with that same camp copy and use that copy as drag and drop make it how you want it and then use that if you would like but i would i would always keep a copy a backup of what you were you're using the next part would be what are these what are these buttons doing you'll see that on the old version we had uh, a few more buttons we had like edit we had delete we had up and down arrows duplicate move for this version, and maybe I'll add these to the custom version, I'm not sure. There's only the ability to edit or delete cards. You cannot duplicate them. You cannot move them from a view, to, from this view to another view. The other thing is you may see some things not load in. Um, if that happens, load a different dashboard, maybe go into edit mode, and then go back into your dashboard that you want to be using. Uh, for drag and drop. That's, I mean, that's it. That's it. I mean, to me, it's kind of bittersweet getting here because I, I feel like this is not enough. But at the same time, it's, it does give you quite the possibility, right? Let me know what you think, how everything looks, I mean, how it works for you. Let me know what you're thinking. If you like this, put it in the comments below. Before you guys go, there's one more thing. There's a link down in the description and it's to my GitHub sponsors. And if you do like this stuff, 
and you want to support me, you can support me there. Overall, I think that, I th- you know, I have, I think, six sponsors right now, which is great. And it really helps me to say, okay, other people are really wanting drag and drop or really liking my work. Helps motivate me to continue working on this stuff. I'm sorry it took so long, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to. But thank you guys. And I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments.